Hello and welcome back to another week of Sambo I Racing. It's week four, season one, 2024. We are at Summit Point for the Jefferson circuit. This hasn't been used on the officials for a couple of years, and last time it was used, I hadn't even really heard of sim racing. It is a very tricky little track. It's got two of the hardest corners, I believe, in the sim, and it's also very warm this week at 44 degrees Celsius on the track. So it's gonna feel an awful lot like you're driving on ice. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, qualifying is gonna be super important this week. So I'll get on and say a very Merry Christmas to you and uh, a Happy New Year. And also, please be a dear, like and subscribe, and then you get to see this lovely content that I put out each week, throwing itself into your uh, inbox and onto your home feed. Anyway, without further ado, let's get in the cockpit and we'll run through the lap from the cockpit view. For those of you that are new to my channel, after that we will go through chase cam at full speed and then we will be back in the cockpit with the driving line on. So we're going to cover every eventuality. Anyway, I'll see you in the cockpit and let's run through. Okay, so we're back in the cockpit now. This is a very short lap at 55 and a half seconds. Um, so it shouldn't take too long. Anyway, let's have a look. So we're in third gear. I'm going to slowly move over onto the left hand side. Now, if you are auto blipping or auto clutching, just leave it in third gear and just rev it out. I use button clutch, so my gear changes are relatively fast, and it's just force of habit that I do this. And um, it doesn't actually really improve my times. When I did run it, just revving it out in third gear, my times were exactly the same on the Delta, but it's just force of habit that I change up to fourth gear. So I'm now in fourth gear. I'm over on the left-hand side. There isn't any curbing here, so don't go any further left than I am. You don't want to get your left tires into the grass here and what I'm looking for is if you see this on the left hand side coming up here you've got the end of this sort of tubing uh, tire wall and once that's gone out of my peripheral vision I then brake relatively hard in a straight line briefly up to about 90% again my wheel is absolutely straight at this point so putting all the braking on in a straight line and then as I start needing to turn towards the apex I trail it off down to uh, zero here. So I'm two thirds of the way across to the right and I start feeling um, with the throttle, drop it down to third gear. And once I'm feeling settled and safe, I'm moving back up onto 100% at the apex. And now I'm gonna hold that through, move back over to the right hand side, staying in the throttle here. I think with the driving line on it suggests that you do uh, some, some lifting at this point. So you can leave it on. And now for the next turn here, for turn um, two through to four, we're gonna come off the throttle down to about 17%, as you see there. I'm gonna take a good helping of curb and then get straight back on the throttle. Now what we're looking to do is straighten the car up so that we can brake briefly for turn three. So I'm up now to 60% and I'm gonna trail that off nice and early, staying in third gear just letting the car settle. As soon as I feel that I've got the rotation that I need, I'm moving back up to 100% throttle here. I'm just gonna hold it tight to the corner as best as possible. I think the driving line, if I remember rightly, suggests that you uh, take a wider uh, run through here. That's rubbish. Stay in third. You can just get close to the grass here. You don't need to clip it. That'll just slow you down nowadays. Staying in third gear over on the right-hand side. Now, I find this one of the trickiest corners in the sim so the the braking part uh, point is hard to um, uh, actually gauge so if you see on the left hand side here there are three trees and the biggest one is the uh, one furthest to the left it's just after that that i'm now going to break and on the right hand side you can see this this extra sandy bit of grass here coming up and just before that I'm breaking up to about 70% very briefly. I'm then gonna trail it off very early. I've got maintenance throttle on. So with two of the corners on this, um, you're actually doing the thing that we don't normally recommend and that's having throttle input and brake input on at the same time because you're just balancing the car because it's very, very slippy. So as I get in, I'm now completely off the throttle. So I've done all my braking before this corner. And the reason for that is I'm now going to be balancing the car on throttle keeping it around one third uh, to 40% here as I'm coming around. I'm wanting to clip this inside curb. This is um, 
got quite a tricky corner, as I say. And I'm now back on 100% throttle as I'm apexing. And I'm going to hold that. Now, if you hold it well over to the left-hand side, you're just going to scrub speed. So let the car drift out. Try and keep the wheel as straight as possible. Up to fourth gear, 134 kilometers an hour, about 87, 88 miles an hour. And we're going to get through to the next really tricky corner, which is turn six and seven. Uh, it's all in one. So we're going to stay over on the right-hand side. Just maybe kiss this curving on the right. And we're keeping it in f um, fourth gear. We're keeping it on full throttle. I'm going to start aiming towards the turn. And the reason why we're getting that turning done now is so that when we actually need to put on the brakes, coming up just at the end of this entrance road on the right-hand side, by the time I actually touch the brakes, I've now got a straight wheel. So if you look, um, I'm up to 40% on the brake. But if you look at the input telemetry, my steering wheel is dead straight so that I'm not going to slide or spin, which is very easy to do here. Um, I'm going to start coming off the brake around about now. And again, this is another corner where I'm going to balance the car between the brake and the throttle. I'm now down to 112 kilometers an hour, so I'm going to start thinking about dropping it down into third gear, which I have done just now. And you're wanting to keep it close to the inside. It's going to be a fair amount of work for you to do on the steering wheel to keep the car heading in a straight direction. So I'm now at um, nearly 45% lock, and I'm just going to hold it here, making little adjustments, and then fully back on the throttle. So it's quite a tricky corner. Let the car drift wide, remain in third gear, and over the line for a 55.495. Now, this week, unlike previous weeks, I have created a Dropbox. So whilst all of my um, laps are always on Garage 61, so hopefully you should see on the top left-hand side of your screen here, um, this is from, from live as I'm talking now, the current rankings for everyone that's driven around Jefferson. So I'm there, Sam Brooks. You'll always be able to find me and, and check out my telemetry against yours. But if you go to the Dropbox, which is in the description, you will be able to click on a link and actually download my B-Lap. So if you want to race against my car's ghost, you're very welcome to do that. Anyway, we'll now go back to the chase cam and we'll run through it again in full speed. Okay, so now we're in the chase cam. We'll run it through in full speed and that way you should be able to watch my telemetry and see the trail braking and my throttle inputs um, without it being messed up by me rewinding and slowing it down. We start moving over to the left hand side. As I say, you can leave it in third. I'm going to change up here to fourth. End of the tubing. Brake really hard. Trail it off down to third gear. And now we're holding onto the throttle. And just clip this grass. Just a light feathering of the throttle there. Fully back on. Hold it round as close to the left hand side as possible. Don't touch the grass there though. Now we're back over onto the right hand side, looking for that tree. Get the braking done before the corner here so you can carry as much speed as possible. This is a momentum car, momentum is key. Up to fourth gear, over onto the right hand side. Start turning in, once you're straight, little brake, balance the car, drop it down to third, over to the left hand side, clip the curb, and then just let it drift out. And that gives you a 55 point 495. If you're getting within a second of that, you're going to be very competitive this week. Um, and that goes for whether you're in second split or top split or even in the 12th split. Um, it's a tricky, tricky little track. Um, and your tyres do wear out very quickly. They are going to be fastest on your first qualifying lap. So if you do mess up your out lap, uh, it might be worthwhile restarting. You've got plenty of time. Right. Back to the cockpit for the final run through. Okay, back in the cockpit now with the driving line on. I'm changing up to fourth gear, looking for that tubing to stop. Brake really hard. In third gear. Don't, li li don't brake here, just a little lift. Take a bit of curb. So keep nice and tight on the inside. You don't need to push out here in the Formula V. Yeah, 
I'm braking and I'm back on the accelerator whilst the driving line is still suggesting that you're braking. Driving line always suggests a later braking point than the ones that I uh, tend to use in the V. They're on the right hand side. Little brake, balance it round. And over the line. Once again, thanks for watching uh, my channel and uh, I hope to see you again next week. Or you can flip over and watch my lap in the Formula Ford if you like to uh, race them both like I do. Thanks a lot.